Good afternoon and welcome into Mary's Kitchen. Sorry, I had a live video on there and I wasn't just too sure whether it was working or not, so I kind of stopped it. So I hope this one is working okay and the sound is on because the sound uh, microphone came up uh, with a cross through it, which tends to indicate probably no sound was coming through. So I'm just going to lower that down a little bit. Now, I want to, I put a shout out there if uh, some of you are interested in learning how to use a ninja. And I'm sure a lot of people received them for Christmas and haven't got a clue how to use them and they're scared of them. But they are a fantastic machine. I've got friends in Florida, Kathy and Gail, they've had ninjas for years now and they were always convincing me and saying, Mary, you must get yourself a ninja. And I thought, mm, I'm not too sure, you know, being used to the basic cooking methods, whether a ninja was gonna work for me or not. However, having uh, uh, used the ninja now to cook whole chickens, uh, I'll just let me tell you what this actually does because it's air crisp, it grills, it bakes, it roasts, it dehydrates, so if you've got dogs and you want to dehydrate some little slivers of chicken, it's a great little treat for them. All right, you know you've made it yourself and there's no rawhides and various other bits and glues in there. It's also a pressure cooker. It has a different lid for the pressure cooker. Uh, it steams, it's, it makes yogurt, it sears and sautés. I mean, this machine is wonderful. I call this one Nellie. All right, Nellie's my kitchen help. She's my commie. She's my commie chef. Um, anyway, a fellow that I follow on, uh, on the chefs I follow at the Dumbrody Country House Hotel in Ireland, his name's Kevin Dundon, and Kevin was making chicken wings last week. Now, I made chicken wings a lot in here. I love chicken wings. It's a great thing to have if you're watching the football. Great little snack or chili con carne, fabulous snack as well. Um, but uh, I made chicken wings, but he did something a little bit different and he added some baking powder to his. So I was quite interested. So Brenda, hi there from Florida. Brenda, you're going to love this recipe because, you know, you love your wings in Florida, don't you? With the hot sauce. So anyway, that's what we're going to do. So I've got, um, first of all, I'm going to coat my wings. All right. So I, you can see me quite clearly. I've got my wings cut up here all ready to go. I'm going to put a little glove on because I'm going to be touching the raw meat, all right? And you know chicken raw meat can cause capital back up uh, if you touch the surfaces or anything with it. So anything that you're using um, chicken, raw chicken, please be careful, all right? You love wings, Brenda. Hi, Donna. How are you? Good. Well, we had a real fun video. This is a, a Cajun seasoning that I'm using, okay? So basically you can put whatever kind of seasoning you want on your chicken wings, whatever you kind of flavors, but I thought I'd try this. This was one Kevin used the other day, and I thought, hmm, that looks rather good. And into that Cajun seasoning, you know, obviously put your salt and pepper if you need. It doesn't actually need it because I, I know for a fact that this has got enough um, seasoning in it as it is, as it sits. Ah, oh, nice to catch me live. Thank you, Donna. So I'm going to put, I'd say, a couple of good tablespoons of baking powder in there. I may even put a little tiny bit more. All right, the baking powder apparently crisps up the wing skin. And uh, I did not know that. So, and I've never done this before. Well, so this is a first time for me and maybe a first time for you. If you wanted to put some chili pet flakes in there, Put some chili flakes. Right, now all I'm going to do is very simple. The next step, raise the lid on my lovely ninja. Now inside the ninja, there's a little basket inside another basket. All right, now you don't want to cram these two full. So if you're making a huge amount, I suggest that you make some a little earlier. Oh, we got quite a few people coming on. That's great. Um, what I would suggest is we're just going to run the chicken wing through there. Uh, that you make them in batches, okay, easily done. Just make them in batches. Now you don't have to add, the wonderful thing about an air crisper is you don't add any uh, oil to it, all right? So it's quite healthy. It's quite healthy until the part that we put the hot sauce and butter on. <laughs> but anyway, as James Martin says, everything is good with butter. And I agree with James. <laughs> um, so let's just, yeah. Do this. Yeah, air, air crisping is quite a nice, healthy way to eat. 
I'll put a few of them in there and we'll get a few done at the same time. So we're just coating our chicken in a Cajun spice and the baking powder. And I'm lying them in such a manner, I'm going to show you in a moment, and so that they're not on top of each other. Um, because you want them to cook nice and evenly. No, I didn't know that, Donna, about the baking powder. So it's a quite a nice little tip. Um, that's why I, I do like to watch some chefs on various programs. That <clears throat> that's quite a big, that's quite a big drumstick. That one. We have a shop um, near me in Edinburgh that does halal meat, and they do beautiful, beautiful chicken wings. Absolutely amazing. Um, let's just put a little bit more powder in there and a little bit more Cajun spice just to finish these last ones off. There we go. There. Okay, now simple as one, two, three. And these are very carefully not layered on top of each other because I want them to cook nice and evenly. And I'll just take that glove off. Now, that's a nice thing about having these little gloves as well in the kitchen, okay? So that's me. I've not touched any raw chicken. My hands are free. And my board here is had raw chicken on it, so I'm going to put that away right away. So I don't mistakenly put something on top of that. That can happen. When I was doing my health and hygiene course, the, um, the uh, our teacher, our instructor, I should say, uh, said to me, well, told us all a very interesting story. The lovely little cafe was running and all of a sudden a few people got sick in the cafe and what had happened was they were putting a chicken into the oven, but they had it on the kitchen counter first. All right, mm, big mistake. You put something on top of that, eh, you're in trouble. Um, <clears throat> well, your stomach's in trouble. Hi there, good morning, Judy, <laughs> how are you? So in your Ninja, come on, come and have a look, come and have a look, come and have a look. There we go. All right, we're all in there. We're happy little chicken wings. All right, I'm going to close the lid, put you back so you can watch me. Okay, now it's on when you, I'll just turn it off for a minute. It says goodbye to you. <clears throat> turn it back on. All right, you have your options to decide where you want to go. So we're going on air crisp. It's already set up for 20 minutes, which is great. And that's it. All right. And we're just going to wait. Now, to be honest with you, I've cooked these. I uh, cooked a few ahead of time because uh, I had two batches to do. Good morning, Michelle. How are you? Uh, I had a couple batches to do. And so I wanted to see how long they took. I actually put them in for another five minutes, okay? Because I want them really nice and crispy. So here's the next thing. Here we have some beautiful wings. Now, I bet you'd love one of those, wouldn't you? But I'm not quite finished with them yet. So what we're gonna do next is I'm going to, yes, get some butter. Just melt that for a minute. And I'm going to put my chicken wings in here into this big bowl. Oh, they're so lovely and crispy. That baking powder really did the trick. So there's a little tip for you. Angela, how are you? Good morning. I guess I got you girls all out of bed. Hey, Fiona, how are you? Yeah, thanks uh, for asking me about the, you know, next week Easter, but that is the big... Uh, that's a big traveling weekend for the Moho people. <laughs> All right, that's the start of the season. <laughs> but anyway, here we go, Fiona. I think I told you to get yourself a ninja. So you're getting a little lesson here how to make these chicken wings. Next time you're over, I'm gonna make them for you. So, hi there, Jillian, hi. So we got our wings here. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some Frank's red hot wing sauce, pretty simple. I make my own hot sauce. Fiona's had my hot sauce. I like a lot of hot sauce, but the trick here is, and I know, we're doing healthy eating in the air crisp fryer, but now we're gonna add some butter. Everything tastes better with butter. Yes, sir. 
All right, we're just gonna give that a little stir. Look at how beautiful those wings look. All right, I'll just get them in here in front of you. We're just gonna stir that butter into that hot sauce. Yummy. We're gonna pour that over top of our wings. This is how you get them in Florida. I'm just gonna save a little bit for my next batch. And just run them all through the sauce. Oh, 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 oh. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, I can't wait to try these. Oh dear, I'm gonna have to try one. Oh dear, oh. Mm. Oh, I'm in Florida. I'm sitting in bongos, looking at the beautiful Gulf water eating chicken wings. Wonderful. Wonderful. Now, I do a little extra thing with mine. You've got your hot sauce on there. Wipe my fingers. Got your hot sauce on there. But I like to make a little like kind of blue cheese dip with mine too, which is really, really delicious. So, Alyssa, they're very good. Now, you had something up on Facebook the other day. I'm not, I don't want to say anything here, but I think it was a bit sad. I think I remember. Anyway, uh, yeah, I don't want to make you sad while you're watching me, so I won't mention what I think it was. Um, I've, got, I've got my blue, uh, Danish blue I'm using, which I love. You can use Stilton if you wanted, all right? And those wings are going to be good. I just crumble that up. Crumble your Danish blue with a fork, all right? It doesn't matter if the pieces are big. It doesn't have to be unified. I have done this in the neutral bullet before, but I didn't like it. Uh, I'll tell you why. You didn't get any great big chunks of blue cheese, and I like to get a great big chunk of blue cheese. So I'm going to just do that. I'm going to put some sour, sour cream in there. and just mix that up into my blue cheese and there you have yourself a lovely blue cheese uh, sour cream dressing to dip your wings in oh my goodness it's so good all right so I hope you enjoyed that I really want to start using my ninja ninja Nelly uh, a little bit more to share with you because I know um, one of my friends Cheryl Muir uh, Cheryl said she only uses one function on it and that is so wrong if you've got a beautiful bit of equipment like this you got to just learn how to use it it's amazing oh Carmen I know I'm back I'm back thank you very much Carmen I know I was off the videos for a little bit but I'm back doing them again and we did a video the other night I did with my friend Lucas and oh we had about 2,000 people watching it so that was amazing and um we were cooking some Thai food, which was really nice. Anyway, so here today we're making chicken wings. We're coming up to the weekend. There's probably a football game on or something like that. And uh, it's a nice time to make chicken wings. So if you have your ninja, don't forget to name them. Oh, you didn't miss the show, Jennifer. What to do is go back on replay, okay? So I'm going to be posting this. All right, it's a pretty simple recipe. I haven't posted the recipe because basically it's Cajun spice and baking powder and using your ninja for your for your chicken wings. And then, of course, some lovely Frank's hot sauce, a little bit of butter. There you go. You've got yourself a feast. I hope you enjoy that, girls, and I'll see you very soon, okay? Lots of love from Mary's Kitchen. Bye-bye.